What's up guys, David here, recording a video about jailbreaking the brand new iOS 4.2 software. Um, a lot of people are saying it's not possible, but it is. You can jailbreak the software. Note, Cydia does not work. It does enable AFC Add, so if you have a phone browser or something to that effect, you can actually browse what's on your phone. So that's nice. And you can add files and stuff if you need to. So, basically what you need to do is you need to go to blog.iphonedev.org. I'll put a link right here. Um, and go scroll down to update 3. And there it is, OS 10 or Windows. Um, so, yeah. After you've downloaded that file, just go ahead and open up Red Snow. Right there it is on Mac. Welcome to Red Snow Beta 3. Um, and it says, it says all that. And then you browse. Well, they have updated it to recognize the 4.2 software, 4.2.1 software. So I'm just going to open that up, and it's going to process the firmware. Is this a newer fixed model? Um, yes, mine is a newer fixed. Next. It's going to download the kernel and do processing of a few other things. This is preparing. This is not doing anything on the phone. Um... So you can now install a custom bundle, um, a tar.gz, that will be a patch Cydia. Um, since Cydia doesn't work, I'm not going to actually install it. Um, I did another video a while back on this, and I'll, if you want to actually see that Cydia doesn't work, just go back to that, and it'll obviously just show you that it doesn't work. So I have nothing checked, because I don't need anything, and I'm just going to tap next. It's gonna be. It's gonna say, make sure your device is plugged in and off. So I'm just gonna hold down the button and turn my device off. And you're supposed to plug in your device first, then turn it off. So I'm gonna wait for this. And now I'm gonna click. Next. Hold down the power button for three seconds. Then start holding the home button for ten seconds. And then release the power button while keep holding the home button. And now it's waiting. It's now exporting it with Lime Rain. It's uploading its first stage. Now it's waiting for a reboot. It's starting to reboot now. It's uploading the RAM disk. And now it's da downloading jailbreak data. And look at that. That's running through code. That's new. I have yet to see this. Um, so it's actually showing me some code this time. Never seen that before. I guess they just took out the GUI. Not surprised. It's just running through all this code. This is the volume Jasper. Oh, now it's doing all this. It's moving applications. Hmm. They must have changed a few things. I have yet to see this, actually. I've seen this before, but in the other video it looked completely different. So go check out the other video if you want to see what it looked like before. And there's a little pineapple. And I'm just going to wait for this. So I'll see y'all guys back when it's done. And it just went dark on me. And it's rebooting. So I didn't actually have to cut out anything. Because as soon as I said I'll see you guys when it's done. It automatically started. Now to prove to you that this is jailbroken. I'm going to show you. 
what firmware I'm on, and that I have AFC ad. AFC ad. And it's done. So, I go in now. I'm going to go to general, about 4.2.1, you see that right there, version, and I'm going to go, and on my Mac, I'm going to open this program that's free for a few more days called Phone Disk, and I'm going to go here, and then just make sure that's root. And that's not giving me root access, so I need to go here. I need to change connection root. Scroll down, click root. And as you can tell, I now have root access into my phone. I can change anything I need to. See? I can do anything. So that proves that I am jailbroken. There's no other way to enable root access. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I'll do an update video when Cydia is actually updated to work. Talk to you guys later. This has been Famer Dave.